we're going to try today is uh, to explain how the uh, thrust rate that was shown on flight test uh, actually works. It's, as you can see, just a basic right angle triangle. Yep. What you want to make sure is that the distance between your hinge, pivot, and the top, and also the point to where it touches the scale are all even. There. And here is a sample. Uh, I'm actually going to use this to test the uh, thrust of motors, but just to show you uh, how this works. Motor would be mounted here, scales at this end, and as it stated, if the motor is mounted in thrusts this way, this beam will push down on the scale. So I'm going to show you how that works, and uh, it does work. Um, 90 degrees, distance is exactly the same from here to here, from here to here, and uh, whatever force is here is parallel to here. Whatever force is here is parallel here. So it's a beautiful triangle, works just nicely, and I'll show you how it works. You noticed uh, it had a frame that looked like this, and uh, right here is a hinge and a base upon which that hinge is attached. And it comes up here and it goes out there. So this thing is actually able to move back and forth. Now they spoke of the two ends that are 90 degrees apart as uh, the distance between this distance here, let's call it A, and this distance between here and here let's call it B. In order for this to work properly those distances had to be equal. Now what we have here once this is um, put together is essentially a 45 degree right triangle. We have two 45 degrees angles. And what's interesting here is uh, the idea behind all of this is if I'm pushing in this direction with a force F that if this end here is sitting on a scale it will push with a force F down on the scale. Well what we have is a vector diagram and if we just pick a point here we have two 45 degree angles and we look at uh, where these angles are located we have symmetry here's a triangle right there and the fact is one side is equal to the other side if that's indeed the case and if this thing is free to pivot over this point on this hinge what we find is if we have our motor attached right there and it's turned on pushing a force F of the motor which would be the thrust that as this thing attempts to tip or rotate around the hinge it's going to push down with a force equal to that so when this works, force motor or the thrust of the motor is equal to the force down on the scale. There's the hinge and it folds up nicely but that pretty much shows you how that works and the scale would be mounted under here and the motor would be mounted up here. The first thing you want to do is clamp the base to a solid surface. The next step is to level this bottom beam. Of course, this scale will be used to determine the thrust as this pushes down. 54.6 and the bottom one is at 53. How the simulation would work. The thrust is parallel to this 54.7. The scale the thrust. 